Hi friends, in today's video we are going to see the topic of scoring method in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation whenever we create the RFQs and we convert the RFQs into purchase orders, right? So what is exactly a scoring method and how it will be helpful in comparing the bids received from the vendors and then choose the right vendor for your procurement options, right? So generally the standard process is generally when the out of queue is sent to the vendor, then, then that can be an open bid or it can be a sealed bid. Um, probably I will explain you in detail about later part of this video, what is a sealed bid. But whenever the bids are received back, we can score the bids. Maybe we can rate it based on the scoring method, whatever we have defined. And then we can compare the scorings, whatever we have we have given or assigned them. maybe the purchasing manager or the purchasing agent we will who will be able to compare the scorings and then they can rank the bids and based on the ranking they can either send the bid back to the vendors for uh, return the bids back to them for uh, asking them to amend the quotations or they can finalize accept or reject the request for quotation and create the purchase order with of the same so we are going to see how to use the scoring method option in D365 and compare the bids while creating and uh, amending or while creating and accepting the RFQs. That's what we are going to see in today's video. If you're watching my video for the first time, my name is Shriram Sivashankaran and I have been posting constantly videos on a daily basis for recording the Dynamics 365 finance and operation. If you want to get regular updates, please do follow my profile. Okay, so let's quickly get into this video. So first of all, I'm just quickly going to create a um, purchase requisition because I'm going to show you the process of how to create a RFQ from purchase requisition. So in order to do that, just navigate to procurement and sourcing module, click on all purchase requisitions, just click on new because already I have made a video in detail about this. So I'm not getting into the uh, details of this particular purchase uh, requisition creation. So um, quickly, I just want to create a purchase requisition and convert it into a uh, RFQ so I'm adding a line I need to add the item number so I'm just adding an item number then uh, I just want to raise a RFQ for under quantity of breakable with my vendor so so this is the purchase requisition which I have raised I'll quickly save this oh, okay inventory dimension must be specified I'll save and select the inventory dimension site and barrels which are mandatory fields then uh, I'll hit the save button. So once I hit the save button, actually the purchase request is uh, uh, actually saved. But if you see the request for quotation is disabled, but once I submit the purchase request for the workflow, then the request for quotation will be enabled, right? So anyway, the as a user, as a requester, because your purchase requesting department can submit the purchase requisition and they can parallelly proceed for asking for quotes from your vendor right so if they there is no point in waiting for their approval but uh, if you want you can uh, go ahead complete the workflow process also but i'm not getting into that right now but instead i am creating the request for quotation directly from here and uh, because our purpose of this video is to understand about the scoring methods so i'll click on okay so this will create my hour of queue so triple zero three one zero is the RFQ which is created. So once again, I am going to procurement and sourcing. So and then request for quotation, all request for quotation. So here you can see that this is a request for quotation which is created from our purchase requisition. So in this, probably first of all, we need to assign the vendors, right? So through which are the list of vendors with whom I need to receive the quote. So I will quickly add the vendor accounts. So let's say sky bag i want to receive the quote i wish to receive quote from three vendors and then i want to compare the options based on the quantity or price whatever they offer maybe the delivery um how quickly they deliver the material right so i will maybe i'll choose one more vendor maybe this is just for the demo purpose so i've selected three vendors and i'll quickly save this uh, request for quotation and then you generally as a part of the request for quotation process we need to send this request of quotation to the respective vendors right so then when we click on okay request of quotation 
process of send will be completed. So once this is sent, generally what happens is we get the updates from the respective vendors and then when we then we need to manually up, update the replies. So if as a purchasing agent, I get the, res, I get the uh, quotes from the vendors and then I manually come over here into the respective request of quotation. And then once I need to click on manage replies, so once in the manage replies, I need to update the respective prices, whatever they have offered. But the most important point in today's video is we need to see how to rate the vendors, right? With scoring, which is the most important. And there are some criteria which are already coming over here. But before getting into this, let me show you that if you get into setup, I'll close, collapse all this, click on setup, click on navigate to request for quotation and then uh, you have scoring method right so you can create multiple scoring methods as per your business requirements business specific requirements so you can click on new you can create a scoring method say rm item scoring, item scoring. so i am creating a specific scoring method then hit the save button and then the new will be enabled so here i can capture the list of scoring criteria maybe one can be delivery whatever the scoring criteria which i consider is important for my business lead time for supply which is basically as the delivery you can rate as per the range from i'm from one to i'm giving the range from one zero to ten maybe for the ease of understanding then it can be quality uh, quality in the sense quality of the product and uh, delivery because i want to ensure that i is delivering the material in good condition so both are important to my business and also maybe i just want to add one more condition maybe price right um most uh, effect best price in the market probably i put like this best price in the market in market okay so i want to trade in I want to score in terms of pricing also so these are the three criteria probably which i am ready to look into probably i will add one more criteria lay let's say in uh, uh, terms of payment so terms of payment is also important for me as far as managing this particular um as far as managing the um, bits from the vendor so whether he is offering the best cash discount or not i just want to rate in terms of the payments also right so i'll save this and the scoring method is actually we have created a scoring method in the scoring method master and based on which we will be able to rate the assign the scores to the request for quotation the in the request of quotation form so after making the change probably if you want you can add a solicitation type also because the solicitation type you can assign a default scoring method and uh, whenever any any solicitation any RFQ is created with the solicitation type, the same default scoring method will be used. Or you can also assign the solicitation type. It's the same. Let's say I'm going to change this particular uh, solicitation type and uh, change it to our scoring method which we recently created. And I hit the save button. And I'm keeping the bid type as open because if it is open, then the to follow a best practice of procurement the other bidders will not be able to view or the purchasing agent who is going to update it update the rfq will not be able to view the replies from the vendors if it is sealed if it is sealed they will not be able to view it if it is open then they will be able to view it i can visually see whatever the cost received from multiple vendors and based on that i can update right but it's not a fair practice because i just want to ensure that all the bits are closed and uh, probably at the based on the date of expiry of the rfq i should be able to view all the bits received from the vendors so that's the reason for having a sealed bit right so i'll save this so the solicitation type rfp it so i have given the scoring method as rm it rm item scoring because you can assign the if you go to procurement sourcing parameters and uh, if you click on request for quotation so there will be option to assign see you have the option to assign the solicitation type so if you if we take this solicitation type as default then this particular solicitation type will be displayed always in your um, 
records for quotation scoring criteria scoring method so let's go back to our records for quotation so we have created a scoring method so i'll click on the same request for quotation and then here if you click on manage replies you will be able to update the details for the vendor right so let's say i have received a, the cost and the delivery date details from the vendor over mail and i just want to update the pricing details whatever i have received in this request for quotation let's say i just want to offer 10 quantity at the rate of uh, probably 2.5 and uh, I just want to give uh, requested receipt date as 22. Okay. And then um, then I submit. So I'm not getting into the detail of creating the request for quotation because I have already updated and uh, uploaded a video. Please do check out the same. And uh, also, let's say this particular vendor is ready to give me uh, at a price. Let's say you can also add questionnaire please uh, check out my document on the same because I have explained in detail about it. So in this video, we are covering the topic of scoring method. So let's say I have received a, this particular vendor is willing to supply me in 10 days. So I'll submit this RFQ. After submitting this RFQ, I have one more vendor. Let's say I have received a, if you have vendor collaboration done, then probably all your replies will be managed through request for quotation bid over here probably we will cover it in the later part of uh, the SEM sessions and uh, so i am going to edit the reply from compact also so in this case i am giving a quantity of 10 but uh, the compact is giving me at a price of 3.5 but he is willing to give me at a quicker um, date of delivery okay so i'll sum up this so so by this process we have actually received the request for quote from request for code from three vendors and at the same time as a you and compare the replies first of all before doing that i want to rank the particular codes which i have sure i have received from them based on the criteria scoring method whatever we have defined so in order to do that navigate back to manage replace if you click on header section and then you will have the bit scoring right a first tab called big scoring so here you will have the the specific criteria whatever we have defined already so you will be able to rate the vendors so here let's say i am going to rate the vendor let's say for quality is is okay to an extent he is going to supply me a material set of fair enough quality delivery is good and price let's say he is offering me a best price i am putting a value of uh, eight payment terms is good so these are the four criteria which are actually defined and it is coming over here right but at the same time if you if you want to change the request for the scoring methods the scoring method i have currently it is this is the scoring method which is coming over here but if you feel that that i just don't want to go ahead with this particular scoring method and i just want to remove this particular maybe quality which is not applicable at any point in time you can also do that say if you go back and then uh, you have the scroll scoring criteria in the action pane click on the scoring criteria so by default you see the whatever the scoring method which we tagged in our solicitation type so if you remember in the procurement and sourcing module um, so in the procurement and sourcing module procurement sourcing parameters so request for quotation and then the, if you look at this is the default solicitation type which we have tagged in the parameter so but inside the solicitation type based on the scoring method which we have tagged system is picking up the criteria right so this is how the the criteria of th those specific scoring criteria are coming over there so now i'll navigate back to request for quotation and then uh, if i wish to change or add a new scoring method that's also possible so you just simply click on edit if i instead of uh, payment terms i just want to delete this particular criteria let's see you will get an warning message scoring has already been done on the rfq case scoring criteria cannot be deleted because i have done my scoring that's why system is not allowing me to delete it so that's also a yeah, validation which is which d 3 by ensures that if any scoring is performed, then you will not be able to delete it, right? So I'll go back to manage replies. 
then uh, in the header section and then uh, I will remove the scoring so we'll save it and go back so now in the scoring criteria I'm going to delete the payment terms yes now the system allows me to delete it I'll click on new and I'll say uh, what is the well, maybe I just want to add a new uh, scoring criteria mode of delivery maybe add freight or whatever it is um, what is the mode of delivery air or uh, ship or road whatever it is I just want my want my purchasing manager to rate it or score it based on mode of delivery I will save it you can also change the criteria by simply changing the scoring method over here just ensure that you enable the toggle so that your scoring criteria will be changed automatically so the scrolling criteria will help you to rate your vendors so once again I'm going back to manage replies so I'll click on the header then here I can now you can you can see that instead of the payment terms of delivery now we have the mode of delivery right so terms of payment sorry instead of terms of payment we have uh, now the mode of delivery so among these I'm going to rate the this particular quote let's say it is all 88264 eight, it's all I'm just putting some random numbers just for the sake of the video so that uh, you will also see how this entire process works so this is how I score my vendor I save this and then I go back so after that maybe the purchasing manager or the the person who is going to take the final decision can come over to the request for quotation and then uh, click on compare replies so this will give you a overall view on header and line level details for each and every quote uh, so that uh, according to the scoring criteria this particular vendor is actually uh, the top scorer so he ranks at number one probably so I need to think on which particular vendor to go ahead right so based on the scoring criteria I am sure that this is the vendor which is most recommended as per the quality or uh, whatever evaluated by the purchasing team so we have the quantity and the price which is offered by this is offered by the vendors and also we have the deviation deviation is basically the delivery date difference which is between your accepted and the request for code delivery date so he's also offering me at a quicker delivery date and at the same time he is also offering me at a lower price right so that's the reason we have got him at a higher score and then quickly I can select this and I can accept his request for code and that's how the request for code process is completed so overall if you can see so we received the bid we entered the scores for the bids we compared the bids we rank them then we will be able to accept or reject the bid and convert it into a purchase order so this is how we are rejecting the balance remaining two bits once we reject the bits those information will be sent to the vendor you go back you can see that the particular request for quote is accepted right so received and this is received okay now you can see once I refresh it became lowest status is rejected and the highest status is accepted fine so this is how you create a scoring method and uh, use the scoring method to evaluate the bits received from the vendors and then you can convert the bits into a purchase order so by con creating converting it into a purchase order we have already covered it in another video please do check out the same so I just want to don't want to make this video a longer one and uh, hope to see you in another interesting topic in the in tomorrow right thanks for watching this video